morning, uh, day two of lemon chata treatment. Uh, it is 7.58 and it's Tuesday morning and we are on the way to Southampton Hospital for another day of lemon trada. Yay! Um, I've woken up quite hot and flush this morning, so if I go a bit closer, um, a little bit red there. Underneath foundation it is coming out. Um, no rash to speak of just yet. That's just, I don't know what that is, a little bit of morning rash, who knows. Um, but no, I'm feeling okay. Um, as a girl, a girly thing, so close your eyes guys, but I came on my period this morning. Um, I've got a newborn, if you've been following my, um, not not some newborn anymore, six months, but if you've been following my vlogs, you'll uh, you'll see me mention baby Joshua a lot. Um, so, I've had to finish breastfeeding because of third relapse, because the steroids were too high to carry on giving him my milk. So he's been on formula, so that meant obviously my body slowed down with all of that stuff, and it meant that basically I've come on my period giving me period pains. Yay, the joys of Lem Chada and, uh, and my time of the month. So I've just come on this morning. I believe um, the, the nurses had already told me that they do make sure that I am on some kind of contraception anyway when I'm going through Lem Chada. Not quite understanding why or anything, but they just wanted to confirm that. So I had to take the first day of my pill packet this morning. Um, poor James is getting in the ear because I'm a little bit high and low with mood swings. Um, whether that is time of the month or whether that is Lemtrada based, I don't know. Maybe you could ask him. He's always a bit grumpy in the mornings. No, he won't speak. <laughs> um, and then, so yesterday was quite a good day. It was a long day. I took lots of um, things to keep me busy. The nurse had suggested that I do. So the type of room I was in yesterday, it was an infusion room. Um, everybody in there was having infusions of some type. Not necessarily Lemtrada and not necessarily multiple cirrhosis. Um, infusions either. So the left hand side of the room was kind of different nurses and people were coming and going so they seemed to, patients seemed to be in there for a shorter amount of time and then our side of the room she did say to me the right hand side tends to be um, our, us nurses so it's two of those nurses and um, multiple sclerosis patients but I think I may have been the only lemon trial person. So I did notice there. another couple but I'm not quite sure. Um, I was on a very easy relaxing chair, electric chair, so I could put my legs up and she suggested that I grab that chair right at the beginning of the day because she said you're going to be in here the longest and I was, it was a long old day yesterday, um, ate till about 5.15. Um, I brought my own food in but there was a tea and coffee and a sandwich lady that came around as well. Um, I just wanted to stay healthy. Um, we did have to bring in my baby Joshua who's six months, we had to bring him in due to childcare and daddy James dropping me off and having to hold him while he dropped me off and then take him out but a lady a nurse I think she's like the main nurse did come and say I'm so sorry but babies aren't allowed in this hospital in this room so um, so we had to quickly whip Joshua away um, I'm guessing for infection and all things like that because everyone's very vulnerable the patients in there um, so just to give you a heads up if you do have children we are trying to juggle our childcare at the moment and we have two amazing mummies my mum and James's mum who are having our children at the moment but try and sort it before you go into the hospital James thought it's okay we've got the baby in the car and he'll take him back straight into the car but yeah even having him walk into the room and walk out again wasn't really acceptable sorry about the wobbly nurse it's a really bumpy road and we live out in the country um, and James is overtaking of all times to do it um, and then the other thing to mention is our, our little girl Tabby she's three years old and she's really really poorly now we worked all weekend before I went into treatment yesterday so my mum happened to have her anyway because we were working all weekend. My mum's got to keep having her because this sickness bug that we thought she had has turned into a full-blown virus. It turns out Tabitha's got um, conjunctivitis as well. So she's all up here with the eyes, uh, lots of gunk. She's got medication and it's a viral infection. Now, she's on medication for it, but with conjunctivitis being highly contagious, um, I'm not allowed to be anywhere near her. So bear that in mind again, we are, us land people are very um, prone to uh, getting anything that's going around and anything contagious, or even if someone sneezes or coughs and walks past you, I freak out a bit and think, ah, oh, please don't come near me, I can't, I can't have that germ because I can't fight it off because of the child that's going in, which is killing off parts of my immune system. So with all that in mind, Tabitha is at Mummy's, my Mummy's, and Joshua this morning is not in the back of the car, but he's with James's mum because she's off work this morning doing a half day at work. Luckily. Um, actually, no, I need to go the whole day off. So those are two things to bear in mind. Your childcare, don't bring a child into the clinic with you, into the infusion room. 
um, and do stay away from coughs and colds and viral infections and anything that's highly contagious. Um, I don't know if my rash is going to come out today. I don't know if I'm going to get the mild headache that I got yesterday that I mentioned on my second video yesterday. Um, who knows? Who knows? But I've got loads of magazines. I've got my iPad. So I've got all my electrical devices. I've got my reading material. I've even got some of those adult coming in books that I might get one of those to go to. Uh, the nurses were super lovely yesterday and I get the same nurse again today um, and then a new one that I didn't see yesterday. I will keep you updated. Oh, and by the way, I've still got this in my arm. So when you go home, if you're not staying into the hospital, um, that is in my arm there. You can see it with the shadows. There we go. Um, and the, the red thing is just a little plug, um, a little bung they put in, and then the red thing will come off today, and they'll start the infusions. Um, and if it's anything like yesterday, it will be um, two paracetamols first, um, two tablets they give you to prevent cold sores just all coming out, because I am a cold sore sufferer, so I think that is why. I don't know if they'll give it to everybody that's going through LEM. Um, so two tablets for the cold sores, no, one, one tablet for the cold sore twice a day for the five day infusion plus 28 days after, um, and then two paracetamol when I first go in. Then the stories will probably be dripped through for an hour, then a flush, and then the four hours again of LEM being dripped through, and then a flush. Um, and then if I start to get flu-like symptoms, I can take the paracetamol every four hours. Okay, uh, see you on the other side.